We up and I'm feeling like a new me. Stacking new sets, some new E. Uh, NFTs, all of them you need. All of them. Back in my zone like two, three. All time high, hit a new peak. Let's go. Homie, the Bulls is back. I said the Bulls is back. GM, GM, and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at AI coins. Almost one year since ChatGPT actually got unveiled to the public, and we had the first round of a real alt season for the AI tokens. So here now, we have a big catalyst on the horizon, OpenAI with their first dev con, November 6th, 2023. So this is coming next Monday from recording here. So super interesting to see how people are positioning in the markets around this. And there's a specific category within the AI narrative that is actually getting a real bid here. So we're going to dive into that and see what's going down. If you enjoy this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and let's jump in. So just before we start the AI chat here, we have to check in with BTC as ever. As you can see on the monthly chart here, it does look supremely bullish with this massive green dildo here pushing into the resistance at 35K, opening us up if we do break above this level now for the month of October to push up into some serious territory here, 40K plus. I did check in with Don Alt earlier, who is supremely bullish with a weekly close that just happened yesterday. Huge close, very exciting. He says we're officially back in all time high range. No high time frame resistance until 60k he says from here so that is his trade idea here from btc to go up to the 60k territory now as we know crypto narratives are the lifeblood of the industry they always have serious fundamentals around them and what we need typically is something to inspire the narrative maybe from an external source it doesn't always have to be within the crypto industry it can be external to this and that is what we find with the ai narrative so the ai narrative really was born last year in november 2022 with chat GPT going live and the first app to reach a million users in just five days absolutely smashing records as that occurred so we fast forward one year from that period and now we have a load of AI coins this is my specific list here doing absolute bits you have FET the market leader fetch AI just under 400 mil market cap you have AGIX, which interestingly started off as AGI token, which is artificial general intelligence. This is going to probably be the next wave of AI as the general intelligence is AI that can actually kind of think for itself without having to be trained on specific topics. It can just learn from experience and make its own decisions, which is a little bit creepy. And that is the kind of AI that really does start replacing humans on mass scale. So one eye on the future, AGI is probably a place you want to be thinking about, but it isn't here fully yet. But but estimates are 12 to 18 months potentially says Elon and AGI could be a serious thing in the world. You can also notice some numbers in here as well. Some big moves, 60% on Ori. I would check out the tokenomics on this one. A lot of people suggesting the FTV is 300 mil. Incorrect. Go and look at Etherscan. A huge burn did occur for this one. I do have a position in Ori, so shilling some bags there. But we have these 117% gain for image generation AI, 126% for Botto, and also 330% for 2D AI down here as well. So these ones all share a common theme within the AI subcategory. And this was pointed out by Rez here over on Twitter. He says this, OpenAI DevCon 6th November. Now back in August of 2023, OpenAI acquired Global Illumination, which is an AI studio that excels in AI-based creative tools. So putting two and two together, he's suggesting that what we're going to see at this DevCon is a lot more around ChatGPT4's image understanding capability abilities and tokens that hit this narrative are the likes of image ai and also botto and 2d ai the other one i just showed you there as he states this may put focus on image generation video generation and any other 2d 3d capabilities of open ai software so here was their little press release not too much to go into detail here when they did acquire global illumination they took the whole team the full ip stack and this lets you know the team previously designed and built products early on at instagram facebook and have made significant contributions to youtube google pixar and riot games amongst other notable companies so obviously OpenAI has quite a big power within the AI industry arguably Sam Altman is the man leading the charge for AI more broadly right now which is a crazy position to be in when you think about how much this is going to change everyone's lives this is one of the main focal companies behind it 
but what they've actually done with Global Illumination is bought up pretty much a gaming studio. So Global Illuminations have Biomes. This is a web-based game. It's an MMORPG. As you can see, it kind of looks a bit like Fortnite meets something out of Sandbox. It is a pretty cool looking game. And this is potentially what got OpenAI to actually purchase this company outright and obviously consume them within themselves. It's Biomes GG over on Twitter. Go and give them a check out. But what this will showcase is not only the visuals, but also the video capabilities of utilizing AI. So as per Rez's thesis, this whole conference could be centered around a specific element of AI, the whole image generation and video generation elements. They've been doing a lot of work here to improve things along this regard. This is actually an image of OpenAI's DALI 3. As you can see, the man on the moon, a crypto trader, if you will. And if you look back at the previous stuff, we were looking back like November, December of last year, how crazy these images have improved in around 12 months time. Now we can also compare this to Mid Journey 5 here. These visuals are rather epic. These are AI generated images. As you can see, they look very much lifelike and are super, super Super detailed. I remember around this time last year, you were looking at images like this in a lot lower resolution and oftentimes like the finer details were always a little bit amiss, especially the likes of fingers. They weren't coming out very well. A lot of fingers were like glued together or had some form of misshape. Maybe that's why they've used all these images showing off their hands here, but you can just see the incredible detail and absolute leaps and bounds we've moved forward in terms of AI-based image generation. So that is where the thesis come in here, but they're gonna be shilling something really cool here over this conference, and thus the apes will do what the apes do best and bid all the image generation tokens. So we'll quickly look at three on the table here because we have the kind of comparison. If DALI 3 makes cool images, you have Mid Journey 5 churning out some epic stuff. You have the Global Illuminations team now working at OpenAI as well. It leads us to believe there's gonna be some cool image slash video stuff coming very, very soon. So which projects do this? Well, of course, first we have image generation AI. You can see market cap 33 mil. And what we've had here over the last 30 days, you can see from the chart here, the first phase of a real markup here. So the early adopters into crypto have made these connections and started to bid these coins. If we pull this out to max, you can see it is pretty much busting all time highs there over the last few days. So will this be a bigger AI run than the previous? Well, judging by that, at least it has already broken out. Let's look at the images from image AI here. This is one of a Viking sailboats some amazing depth to the images here and you can see how the the water detail etc and even just the fine grain of the wood on the boat here can really be distinguished this looks like it could have been a photo it's that good then we have Botto again this one has been moving like crazy the market cap on this is 12 million dollars if we just pull this down, there is some inflation to come for this one. It's on max here. This one's been around for a longer time. Did actually see the end of last cycle, but as you can see the yearly highs here in 2023, somewhere around 56 cents, currently at 31 cents just last week, somewhere in the region of 14 cents. So a big markup coming for these types of coins. What is it producing? Well, this is the kind of imagery here. They've got a bit of a gallery behind it. It has a very distinctive style, does Botto, very different to the likes of the others we've just looked at. Whether this tickles your pickle or not, I'm not quite sure. It's not exactly for me, but you can see high quality stuff nonetheless. So we have really cool images from Image AI, $33 million. Whether or not the quality is how we should be judging these things, I have no idea. 12 mil for Botto here. And then in third place, we have 2D AI. And again, this one could catch a bid off the back of this narrative. 2.8 mil is the FDV. And if we just pull up the chart here, this is a new coin on the block here. And it's only been around for a good few months since the summer. It's pushing towards the all time high, somewhere around 3.4. Currently sat at 2.7, 2.8 here. This is the lowest cap of the lot. But if you look at the image generation on this, more of a cartoon theme, this does look pretty incredible to be honest with you. And they have this brand new product called XAI. So you can generate your images from their Telegram chatbot, but you do need to hold tokens in order to actually utilize it at various tiers. But you can see from some of the imagery here, and even this kind of 3D image of the BMW driving past, this enormous creature looks rather incredible to me. 
So of course, this is just an idea, and this is something the market seems to be running with right now, but it may not actually be the focal point of the conference. But as you can see, we're a week out, and these tokens really are marking up. So there's obviously some group think around this, that this could well be correct, and obviously lining up some of the dots there, maybe this is a bit of a narrative. But what we do know for sure is that AI broadly across the spectrum right now is getting bid up huge. Like these tokens are all absolutely mooning here on my list. Some of the real market leaders across the industry, I know things like Objective are pumping like mad, but FET is definitely one of the biggest leaders out there, especially on these high cap altcoins. But if you do go and compare categories across crypto right now, AI seems to be getting one of the biggest bids out there. Of course, we have that narrative with the open AI November 6th developer conference. This is obviously going to be big. And in terms of other news headlines here, we have this coming from Amazon. And also, you know, Anthropic is the one that FTX were actually invested in and could make customers whole. This one had a big bid in terms of Google buying up a load of it recently, but also Amazon now have put in $4 billion dollars to expand services with Anthropic, obviously buying up a load of their share value there. Anthropic also has its own chatbot, Claude and Claude 2. So what I am actually looking out for on the horizon is these kind of chatbots, large language models that can actually give you useful outputs as an end consumer. And time after time, to be honest with you, I just keep coming back to BitTenzo, which is down the bottom here. It doesn't have a market cap over on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. And this thing essentially is the decentralized version of ChatGPT, of Claude, of Bard, etc. It incentivizes its AI with the token, the Tau token itself, and it is mined on the same schedule as BTC. I do think this one absolutely bangs at some point. But as you can see, FDV at half a bill, it certainly isn't a low cap gem out there, but it does have big pump potential. Now, I do want to go over this finally. This was from Tina, actually explaining the trade thesis around FET from earlier in the year. And this could actually be used yet again here in terms of how to ride this up because it does seem we're having a very much similar playbook as last year. And he says, probably one of my best trades. Essentially, what you get is the first leg up here. And as it does pull back and consolidate, which is pretty much where we are right now, shoots up, leg one, consolidation around a point of resistance. That is where we are. People will start to say, we don't want to take on the risk. This thing has already moved. But as it does consolidate, it will expand yet again. And the same people that didn't want to buy as it did consolidate will end up buying into the expansion of phase two. This is where all the midwits enter the space. So this is pretty much what we've had now. We've had the first run up here. And I expect we're going to have a leg two, maybe into the 2023 high areas. Somewhere around 50 to 60 cents was the actual Pico top. And if we do get a third leg, maybe this AI narrative can all the way run itself back to 2021 highs, which would be pretty damn incredible here. So three legs in total, leg one seems to be done, to be honest with you. And so after the second leg takes place, what you then look for is the parabola to actually finish things off. The leader will overextend on a third leg up, watch for a sharp sell-off and bounce. And he says, ideally you sell a portion of your beta exposure at this point. So if you're in the low cap shit coins, you need to be watching the market leader. And this is your cue to start exiting said positions and reducing your exposure if you're in the leader as well during this phase. And then you get this kind of chop when the market is undecided, have we actually hit the highs for the cycle here or not. And so he says, if not sold on Parabola, sell on a volatile retest here. And if your price does move above this, you can see and get actually back in with only losing a few percentages. But after this top has occurred, we're going to get this distribution. A lot of traders who think they're smart getting back in are going to get blown out. And during this phase, people are continually looking for the beta plays, but they don't tend to actually come off. As he states in here, they want risk, sell it to them. So roadmap here, leg one into leg two, into a third and final leg, maybe a parabola blow off top before we come back down. People start bidding absolute shit coins in this period before we come down, before we find ourselves a new reaccumulation range for said tokens. So the AI narrative is back here once again on the menu one year after its first moon mission. Let's see how this one plays out. I hope I provided you some good context here and some useful learning information. Make sure you give Tina a follow over on Twitter and consume the alpha that is being given there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.